What's going on, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose. So I was at Marshall's the other day, and I've been seeing this one pop up more and more, and I didn't pick it up, but this weekend I picked it up for $16 on clearance, and I think you can get it for something like $17.50 or $18, something somewhere along those lines. Um, and it is Dakar Intense by Guy LaRoche. And I've been wanting to get this one for a while. I have Dakar Noir, um, and I wanted to see what Dakar Intense brought to the table. So if you guys want to know what I think about it, stick around. I'll see you in a second. Thanks, guys. So what's happening guys, welcome to PR Sense, like I said. So a couple of pet peeves of mine before I start, and some of you are gonna go, can you please get to the point? Um, that's my whole point. I've been, I've been seeing some of the comments that I get here and there, and then I've been seeing some of the comments that other reviewers get, and I wanted to, to comment on somebody that commented to Ash about uh, you know one of his videos, Ash at, at uh, uh, Gen Sense. And it was, can you please get to the point? You know, you talk too much, blah, blah, blah. Don't watch the damn channel. Like, we not only are here to give you fragrance reviews, but we're here to talk to you as well and, and just have a conversation here and there. Um, and maybe we should do better and maybe, you know, put the delineations of time so that way you can skip through the introduction and go straight to the review because you're so damn patient. Um, but, you know, some of the stuff that, that some people out there in the, say is ridiculous. You know, I've had some people say, get to the point, you talk too much, blah, blah, blah. Um, one person commented something about, you know, I don't think he likes Brenda because he seems annoyed by her. That's just our, our you know, the way we talk to each other and, and I love her to death. So that's bullshit too. And the, the best one I have for you guys, is somebody said that they really liked my videos, but could I not move my arms around too much because they felt uncomfortable? And it's because I have one hand and I use this one like my second hand, so I'm constantly doing this and blah, blah, blah. And they felt uncomfortable about it. Um, so they asked me not to move my arms around too much. So I'm gonna just do this and talk to you like this. No, no, don't watch my video. Okay, because this is who I am, this is what I do, and you know, you either like it or you don't. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. Plain and simple. You know, don't complain to me about get to the point. Don't complain to me about uh, your one arm makes me uncomfortable. You know, just don't watch and simple. So that's my pet peeves of the day. I'm sorry, I'm just in that kind of a mood. Let's get to what we're talking about today, and it is Drakkar Intense. So, like I said, I saw this at Marshall's, and I and I. You know, I had to buy it. It is an Ouda Perfume, and it is, I think it's like, what, 3.4 ounces? Yeah, it's 100 ml, so it's 3.4 ounces. For $16, it was on clearance. But then I looked online, and online they sell it for $17.50. This came out in 2022. I believe Dracar Noir came out in 1986, I think it was. So that's an oldie, but still a goodie. Really, really still a goodie. It is a little barbershoppy, but it's kind of, to me, a little like, it has Aventus vibes to it, um, and a little barbershoppy. And I'm not big into the barbershop sense, but because it does have that Aventus vibe, I kind of like it. Now this one, the atomizer is not bad at all. The scent is really, really good. Um, if you compare Dracar Intense to Dracar Noir, uh, go to Fragrantica, Fragrantica, and look up the Dracar Noir uh, notes, there's about 30 of them. Like, it's ridiculous. It, it's, a, it's a lot. Maybe not 30, maybe 20, but it's a lot. Dracar Intense keeps most of those, well, it dwindles it down um, to maybe 7, 8, 11. 11, um, no, I'm sorry, 12 uh, notes. The only ones that it keeps is well the ones that it adds that 
Dakar uh, Noir doesn't have is it adds clary sage, suede, and moss. Aside from that, the rest, which I will tell you now, um, stay. Wormwood, coriander, rosemary, and bergamot as the top notes. Um, moves into a lavender, clary sage, juniper berries as a mid note, and then patchouli, lavender, suede, and moss as the base notes. It is still, to me, a little soapy, a little barbershoppy, but still really, really nice. I think, to me, it has this, I don't want to say a dirty scent, um, but it's kind of a, a, it is the moss, like a mossy scent to it. Um, yeah, it's got this mossy scent to it. The wormwood might be doing it as well. It's a little citrusy. I don't think it smells so much like uh, like Dracar Noir. Um, I think it, it moves a little bit more. It's This is more like Dracar Noir's daddy. You know, like it's, it's just um, a little stronger, a little deeper, um, a little earthier. Um, but is it a nice scent? Yes, very, very nice. I like it. And it's not super barbershoppy. It's not super soapy. Um, it does its own thing. Now, the one thing that I will tell you is that its longevity and projection, uh, as far as I see, are not a heavy hitter. If I had to rate it between 1 and 10, uh, I would say that as far as longevity is concerned, it's probably a 4 on my skin. Probably a 4. It becomes a skin scent fairly quickly. Um, and Siage, I think it's also, you know, a close skin scent as well. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it. But is it a nice scent? Yeah, I kind of see it more as a, a fall winter scent. Um, I think it's a more mature scent. But again, you guys, you know, teenagers out there who watch these, this video, wear what you want when you want to. If you think you can pull it off, pull it off. And you'll be smelling way different than most of the guys you know, because they'll still be wearing the Dior Sauvage EDT, they'll still be wearing Aventus, you know, they'll still be wearing those popular fragrances that every single person wears, and you're gonna smell different and stand out. So, you know, but she'll have to get close to you to smell it. Um, that's the only, that's the only caveat to it. But is it a nice fragrance? Yes, very, very nice, and for, Sixteen dollars for a uh, one hundred ml. It, it's a no brainer. I I I would buy that any day. So guys, that's what I have for you. We're gonna move on next to the fragrance layering of the day. So stick around for that. All right. So let's move on to the fragrance layering combo of the day, and this one is a really <laughs> this one's a really nice one, guys. So. I've got Latafa's Cayet Alfresan. Now, Cayet Alfresan is very, very pineapple forward. It is not a Ventus, okay? Because people, they hear pineapple, they think it's a Ventus. It's not a Ventus, but it's a juicy, ripe pineapple. Like, you open up a can of ripe pineapples and you smell it. This smells like really, really nice. I love this one. And you layer it with, believe it or not, Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Now, what I because Cayet Alfresan is so pineapple forward and that pineapple just burst out of out of you know just goes out when you spray it. I I chose to spray Cayet Alfresan first and then Mercedes Benz Black on top of it. And I did a one to one, but the pineapple from Cayet Alfresan just overpowers it. So I did one Cayet Alfresan and then about three of Mercedes-Benz uh, Club Black. Guys, it is nice. Um, it's very vanilla forward, very pineapple forward, very smoky. And that is a nice, nice layering combo. So um, I'm glad I really tried that one because that's, that's, I like it a lot. You'll probably smell the, the pineapple more so depending on how you feel and what you want to smell, smell, you know, spray more of the Mercedes Club 
black um, over the, the Cayet Al Fersan, but very, very nice combo. So that's your combo of the day. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. My apologies for my pet peeves, but I just had to let some of it out. Um, and as always, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.